Edward Snowden's revelations had uh, already led to some tension between the U.S. and China. Beijing has demanded that Washington explain its surveillance program and cyber spying to the international community. Right, let's discuss this further with uh, James Cobbard, editor of an independent news website, The Cobbard Report. He joins us live from Japan. Now, James, do you expect uh, further fallout from the surveillance uh, exposure uh, in terms of U.S.-China relations? Uh, there will definitely be further fallout in terms of the relations. I don't think this comes as a surprise to anybody in the audience, let alone the Chinese government or intelligence services, especially given the fact that uh, it was admitted earlier this year that the general in charge of the NSA, who also happens to be a U.S. Army general in charge of Cyber Command, is, head is ready to deploy 40 uh, cyber battalions in U.S. Cybercom by 2015, 13 of which are going to be specifically for preemptive cyber attacks. So is it any surprise that the NSA is actively uh, targeting and conducting cyber operations against U.S. enemies in cyberspace. Of course, this is no surprise to anyone. But now that this has been put on the table and made quite explicit, I think there's going to have to be some sort of reaction from Beijing. And this is going to complicate already complicated uh, relations between the two, especially as this was just a, the topic of the first uh, me uh, meeting between President Obama and President Jinping since uh, Jinping took office there in California just earlier this month. Absolutely especially since Washington has always denied that they weren't doing that. Now, some in the U.S. call Snowden a traitor. Uh, he's uh, going to Hong Kong and exposing cyber attacks on uh, China, partly, you know, sparking that accusation. But uh, Snowden himself called the, the, this a smear campaign. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, there's no doubt that there's people like uh, former Vice President Dick Cheney uh, going around and, and using that term uh, spy for, for China and, and other such things to try to muddy the waters and to complicate the issue from and distract people from what the real issues are, which are, of course, the levels of surveillance that are going on right now, basically unchecked and, uh, and unwarranted uh, behind the scenes by the National Security Agency, which is the real heart of this issue. So I think uh, uh, discussions of Snowden and uh, his, his status, etc., are, are basically distractions from that, but it is interesting to note that he did go to Hong Kong, of all places, in order to uh, to blow the whistle. And he uh, says that this is because, for example, if he had gone directly to Iceland, where he would be more likely to get asylum, he would also have been more likely to have been intercepted uh, on his way there. So Hong Kong was a it was a nice stepping stone for him to to stop at. Take that for what it's worth. But it's interesting that now he's coming out with these revelations about uh, U.S. spying specifically on China and specifically on uh, non-military uh, personal computers on the Chinese mainland, which, again, is another uh, escalation in what uh, what has been revealed so far about NSA spying. Uh, now, speaking of, uh, of uh, Snowden and in terms of why he decided to go to Hong Kong, I'm going to come back to that in terms of extradition uh, questions to you. But I just want to go back to the, to the U.S. I mean, Washington is saying that they did all this supposedly spying uh, because of security and terrorism. They've been using those two words to justify a lot. How is it, you know, tapping into University of Hong Kong, into business and students of private data, how is that, what does that have to do with terrorism? Uh, for the answer to that question, you'd have to get General Keith Alexander on the program <laughs> and perhaps put it to him or, or perhaps to his uh, ranking superiors. But uh, but honestly, there's there's no possible correlation between the two. Of course, it would be naive to assume that the Chinese are not also conducting cyber uh, military operations on ci in cyberspace against the United States and others. In fact, we know that later this month, as reported on RT, the Beijing Area Military Command is going to be conducting a digitized uh, war game and uh, testing their digital troops uh, in uh, in Inner Mongolia later this month. So we know that they are conducting uh, their own cyber operations as well. I think every uh, every side in this is playing this game. But uh, but as to uh, as to why uh, the, the types of rhetoric that's put out to justify this, of course, there's there's no real relation between this and, and terrorism, especially because the, uh, the the cyber terrorism, as it's been painted for us over the past decade, has signally failed to materialize in any way, shape or form, except for things like like Stuxnet, which, by the way, were created by the NSA, which is now an admitted fact. James, let me quickly just jump in here. I'm running out of time, but I want to ask you, will Hong Kong extradite Snowden back to the US, do you think? 
I think it's going to be very a very touchy subject. And there is the possibility that China will play ball with the US on this. It depends really whether Xi Jinping wants to take China in the direction of really um, uh, bolstering relations with the US or is going to take more of a combative stance. So I think this might be one of those central issues that defines the way Xi Jinping is going to take uh, China for the next 10 years. And that's the, this is a, a, one of those critical issues to watch. It certainly is possible. And uh, Hong Kong certainly does have extradition treaties with the US. So it can be done, but uh, whether or not uh, it's going to, to happen via that route or perhaps even something more spectacular, perhaps there will be some, some type of extradition uh, uh, through other means, but, uh, but we'll have to see how that plays out because I think it's a harbinger of the way relations between the U.S. and China will play out from here on. I think the story becomes spectacular by the moment. We don't, we never know what he, Snowden is going to come up with, but we'll keep watching. And obviously, that's uh, and keep getting analysis on that. James Corbett there uh, of the news website, the Corbett Report, live from Japan.